All right, guys, so I just made um, that video on how to put line on a bait caster. If you need to know how to do that, go check it out. Um, but I'm getting ready for fishing tomorrow, and I'm going to rig it up for a Texas rig. And I thought might as well make a quick, short little video on how to set up for a Texas rig um, while I'm out here. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your open end here, and you're just going to slide your bullet weight on whatever size it is that you're using. I've used this one before and you can tell I've bashed it into some rocks so it's a little hard to put on. Oh my goodness. Gonna open up that hole a little bit. Cheap weights, cheap weights. This is why you buy tungsten. All right. I'm too cheap for that though. These are like little cheap Walmart weights. Okay, so I have my bullet weight on there and here's my open end. You just kind of set that to the side, make sure you have some room to work with here. And this is a, um, I believe it's a four aught um, extra wide gap hook. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it tie the fishing knot of your choice make sure whatever knot you tie it sits on the top of the hook here So after you get your knot tied, cinch it down, make sure it's tight. You want to cut your tag end off. You don't want that messing up the way your crawl or whatever you put on there is going to swim. So you get that cut off. Um, you can peg it if you want. I didn't, um, only because I didn't plan to for tomorrow. So I didn't even bring a peg over here. I can do that in another video uh, some other time. I'm, my boat is right behind the truck here. I'm going to grab um, a craw to show you how to rig that up for the Texas rig real quick. All right, guys. So my tackle box was in the house, but I grabbed um, a used bandito bug out of my fishing boat that was over here. I didn't want to walk all the way back to the house. You can see it's lost a leg. So I probably won't use this again, but it's here for the video, so might as well. Okay, so the first, well, the first thing you're going to do is tie on your hook, but we already did that. So, um, the next thing you're going to do is take whatever it is that you're using, whatever craw, creature bait, whatever that you're using, and I typically poke it down until the end of that barb there, okay? Then I go ahead and bring it out, and I slide this up. You're going to twist it up the hook. And I know this seems funny. I know it looks funny. It looks like it shouldn't be like that. But what you're going to do is push this all the way up so it's even covering the eyelet. Okay? So it's covering the eyelet. Then you're going to take it, push it in like so, push your hook through, and then bring it out the other side. Now, pretty simple. The the most important part, or the thing that I never forget to do, I guess I should say, is to kind of squeeze this a little bit. You can tell I'm squeezing it. You're going to take that hook, squeeze it just a little bit, and bring it just under the surface of the bandito bug, that, or whatever it is that you're using. Okay, that's going to keep you from getting hung up. You can see there, if I run my finger on it, I'm not getting hung up. Okay, that's going to save you for fishing around rock cover, um, grass, anything, okay? Now, don't put it too far down there. If you were to dig it in there like that, then a bass bites it and he's not gonna get to the hook, okay? So make sure it's just flush there, um, not too deep so that um, when a bass does bite it, it'll still, you'll still hook him. Okay. Now, this is something I repeat. So if I cast and it still looks like this when I reel it up, great, awesome, move on with life, make another cast. If it doesn't, if it looks like this because it's bounced off some cover, 
Then I'm just gonna real quick take it, do the same thing, make another cast, okay? Now you are all ready to go. You get your weight down here and you're good to go. All right guys, thanks for watching how to set up for a Texas rig. Um, if you like this video, found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what else you want help with, what you want to see or see how I do. Remember, I'm not claiming to be a professional, I'm just sharing what I know here. So uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see.